in this Memorial Day service. Who's but stripes and white They're stars. not only remembering those who didn't make it back, <laughs> but two guys who did. Privilege. Barely. To get it done and to be able to come back home was, it was just awesome. Tail gunner Art Unruh, now 95, and co pilot John Cleet at 100 are making history again. We can hear the tat, 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 tat from the guns, but we couldn't tell what was happening. They're getting together for the first time since a mission that earned them both a silver star in 1944. They were on a bombing run into Austria. Seven planes made it to the target zone, six of them would not return. This is the actual photo Art took of one being shot down that day. The B-17 with Art and John came under heavy attack. It was almost unflyable. 600 holes in it and we had no oxygen. We had fire in the ball to it and a fire in the tail of the airplane. They had half the rudders blown away. This is Art's picture of the plane. From his tail gunner position he had taken out the final Nazi attacker as John co-piloted with another man named Kelly. On this mission, the attack was from the rear. So all Kelly and I had to do is stay up front and just keep flying. Yeah, I'd just thank this man and the pilot. He got, he got us home. And the story of the two men even made it here to the parade through Fort Wright, where they're trying to keep the story alive for many people who weren't even born when it all happened. The men were grand marshals of the parade and continued on for another ceremony as they found their second get together 74 years later was much better than their first. Brain Hemrick, WLWT News 5.